Hey, it's Dr. Bill Garris, and I'd like to welcome you to week four, unit four. And I have four things I want to share with you today. First of all, remember to access the course through the content tab. Each module and each unit is a self-contained learning module. And within it, it's got all that you need to complete in that week. It's got the readings, it's got discussions, it's got quizzes. It may have a drop box if there's something to be turned in. Um, if you access the course in other ways, what I have tended to find is that students get confused when they do that. A confused student is not typically a very successful student. Second, this week is probably going to be a lighter week. In the past week, you gathered sources that identified that there was a problem, that there was a need. This week, we're going to um, move forward and adjust that ever so slightly, and through the vehicle of a discussion, we're going to look at why a problem exists. You might be drawing from scholarship, from theoretical material, from courses that you've had previously. We're going to be delving into background and contextual information about why a problem exists, not that a problem exists, we did that this past week, but why the problem exists. Again, this is not going to be something that is drop boxed, but we'll be talking about the background reasons for why this problem exists through a discussion. Third, let's look ahead. Next week, we're going to be turning in the problem statement. Um, there's going to be more detail about how to do that in the next unit, the last week of September. But I wanted to give you a little heads up about that, that it was coming. Finally, as we enter the first week of October in a couple of weeks, we'll get engaged with what's called a logic model. And the logic model is a graphic depiction of what you propose to do with grant money. It is a graphic depiction of the intervention that you aim to carry out. I enjoyed reading everyone's discussions last week, uh, particularly about uh, the artwork. It was something kind of light and different and it accessed some different parts of our brain. And I thought you guys did really, really well with that. I was a little surprised at how many of you chose the scream. I guess uh, I selected that for a reason. I, I anticipate that people feel a little uh, overwhelmed with grant writing as they would with any task they hadn't done before. Uh, I was also happy to see how pragmatic uh, and practical people were in going through the list uh, and that lists are very helpful in taking big uh, scream-like abstract tasks and breaking them down into different parts um, that are more manageable. So um, really enjoy that. You guys did a really good job with that discussion. Have a great week, and I'll check in with you later.